I am the 5-Minute Professor, and today's lesson is on bow ties. And if you did not already see my lecture on bow ties, maybe you should do that first. Because there are some things which you need to know about a bow tie. First of all, you tie it with your collar up. But this is not really a good tutorial. There are fantastic tutorials all over YouTube already on how to tie it. But there's a couple of things they don't talk about. I have mine set for my neck. See, this is adjustable. You, if you get a nicer tie, like a silk tie, you have to make sure it's the right size for your neck because otherwise there's no way to match up the ends or your knot has to be loose. Those are the, those are the things. So once you've done that, this goes in the center of your back, uh, the center of the back of your neck. And then you're just going to tie the same knot that you use for your shoe. I mean, that's, that's really all it is. It is... It is a shoe bow knot, but you have to be a little bit careful. That's it. So first thing we do, we make the overhand knot. Then we fold over the loop. Then we're going to cross over the top and tuck it in. But again, this is not a tutorial on how to do that. It is more or less explaining why I like the ties that I like. Because now that I've tied my tie correctly, and once you've done it a couple of hundred times. You don't really need a, a mirror. Uh, but you can see where these flared ends of this tie cover up any slight imperfection in my knot. If you want to tighten it up, you pull it in the back, not in the front, and you'll see the flare end in the front and the flare end in the back. That's just how it works. Same thing with any knot. So you've tied a bow knot. You bring your, bring your collar back down underneath, and there you go. Five Minute Professor ties a bow tie. Perceptum, quispium, damnetium. Learn something, damn it. And I gotta tell you what, there's nothing cooler, I don't think, than being able to untie your tie and show that you're wearing a real bow tie.